This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. We are two days away from the recount deadline and Broward County is still sorting ballots. An election worker tells us they are still finishing up the election day ballots. Then they expect to get to the vote by mail ballots today. Then they will be done with just sorting. Supervisor of Elections Brenda Snipe says the count will be completed before Thursday's 3 p.m. deadline. In Miami-Dade, officials are confident they will meet Thursday's deadline. This is a look inside the election headquarters in Doral, where the staff is working 24 hours a day until the recount is complete. This morning, they were working on early voting ballots in this room. Election officials tell us they are done with the initial recount of mail-in and election day ballots. In Palm Beach County, Supervisor of Elections Susan Booker now says she's optimistic the Senate race will be recounted before Thursday's deadline, but she is not as optimistic about the races for governor and agriculture commissioner. The machines are only able to review one race at a time. And a teenager is dead after being hit by a car while riding her bike. Investigators say the 15-year-old girl was hit by a car as she was riding her bike on Taft Street and Northwest 125th Avenue in Pembroke Pines. We're told the girl was crossing the street. At the time of the crash, she was taken to Memorial Regional Hospital where she later died. Police say the driver, identified as 53-year-old Amanda Hernandez, stayed on the scene and is cooperating with the investigation. No word if any charges will be filed. After months of speculation about the location of Amazon's second headquarters, a decision has been made. And unfortunately, Miami has lost out on the project that would have brought in billions of dollars. Amazon has decided to build its second headquarters in two places, New York City and suburban Washington, D.C. Amazon plans to spend $5 billion and move 50,000 jobs into these two cities. Now, CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good Tuesday morning. As we look from our Everglades Holiday <laughs> Park camera, we are seeing bright blue skies. It's warm out there. Low 80s in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and Key West. And as we check in on the radar, there are a few showers that are starting to push into coastal areas of Miami-Dade County near Port Miami, as well as the Southern Dade County area getting ready for a little bit of rain. Breeze out of the east southeast today, 613 miles an hour, could carry in some moisture in off the Atlantic in the form of spotty showers. It'll be very very warm and humid upper 80s. In the meantime, that area that we've been watching in the tropics near the Leeward Islands now just has a low chance of cyclone development over the next 48 hours, even over the next five days, as it generally is expected to move west or west northwest. Could bring some wet and windy weather through parts of the islands, the Caribbean, possibly the Bahamas. However, our front is forecast to keep it moving to the north and the northeast, deflecting this disturbance away from our U.S. coastline as we head into late week into the weekend for us. So locally, we're going to continue with the warmth. Highs in the upper 80s, a chance for spotty showers for your Wednesday, some storms, possible Thursday ahead of a cold front that will finally bring in our fall-like weather. Lows will be in the 60s by Friday morning. Highs in the upper 70s. Still a cool start Saturday morning and the high right around 80 through the weekend looking wonderful. Lizette, thanks. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMommy.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all of today's important headlines.